Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of Sarah Ann's Music. Um, if you can't tell by my face, I'm not feeling very well. My voice is really cracking really bad. Um, my throat is not feeling the best, but I'm here. I'm doing it. And then after this, I'm going to go get food and go back to my dorm and crash until work. Um, so today I want to talk to you guys about my friends and family. Um, because I have a lot. Um, well, it might not seem like a lot. But for me, it's a lot because I am an introvert and a hermit like my dad, which he hates, but it's just who I am. Um, so to start off, we're going to talk about my family. I have, of course, mom and dad. Um, I have two siblings, brother and sister, Zach and Michaela. Zach will turn 17 in March. Michaela will turn 16 in May. I'll be 20 in September, which is scary. I'll no longer be a teen. Um... Um, we also have, I have five cousins that are human cousins. I have at least five cousins that are dogs. One of them is my absolute favorite, Sebastian. I post a lot of pictures of him when I'm with him on Instagram and everything. Because I adore him. Um, I have two older cousins and then three younger cousins. Um, so, um, let's see. My parents are the best. Um, I love them with everything in me. <clears throat> we all, of course we have disagreements, but I love them. Um, my si I also have sibling rivalries and everything. That's just the way life goes. Um, but I love my siblings, whether they realize it or not, I have a hard time expressing my love for them, just because they, <laughs> I just do. Um, it's been a process, but um, I love them. So they're, my brother, when he applies himself, he does way better at school than I do, when he applies himself. Um, my sister's an amazing artist. Um, She's showing me her drawings all the time when I talk to her, and they are really, really good. My mom does a lot of art painting. She does painting, drawing. She's done she illustrated a couple books for people. Um, she current she's currently working, um, which she's never done since I was born. Um, just since like a little bit before Christmas. Um. And then, um, of course, my dad works a lot, um, but he does what he can to provide for us. Um, so, um, I love them all. Even though sometimes it's hard for me to show it, <sighs> I really do love them. Um, so, um, that's just a little bit about my family. Um, they have been in Tennessee for the last two years for my dad's job. And they just put my dad back down here in South Carolina. So they will officially be back in South Carolina in June. I'm not going to let my brother finish up school and let him do his army stuff. And then they're coming back down. Um, so I am really excited about it. I have hated having them almost three hours away um because they are probably my main support system um actually they are my main support system um and i am really looking forward to having them back in town um i miss being able to hug my mom and hug my dad and talk to my siblings and see my cat and i miss my pookers my pookie baby i'll explain his name later um his name has an interesting yeah, it's an interesting name. Oh, but, oh. Uh, I had to go look at something, so I'll be right back. So, I'm going to tell you guys the meaning behind my pooker's name. Um, it's not really anything, like, super spectacular. Um, his full name is Pookie Pim Pim Pula Flash Garfield Lasagna... What? No. Pookie Pim Pim Pula Flash Garfield Lasagna Mufasa... Pikachu Simba. The Simba I added at the end when he was born because he is Pookie Jr. Um, Pookie Sr. had the rest of the thing, including Pikachu at the end. Um, 
that's just my pookie. Um, so when he was born, when his father was born, I wanted to call him Flash because he was orange, he was cute. I'm super into the Flash and Mary Allen and all that. Um, and so um, my dad was like, no, because he's not fast enough to be the Flash. And so my dad started calling him Pookie Pim Pampula. And then as time went on, he looked like Garfield. He liked lasagna. Um, he had a huge mane that looked like a Mufasa from The Lion King. Um, I don't remember how he got Pikachu out of that, but it, di it did. Um, probably because I like Pikachu. Um, and so, um, that's the entire thing. And then when Pookie Jr. was born, he looked just like his dad. And so I was like, this is my pokers. He ain't going nowhere. He was reincarnated just for me. Um, so that's the story behind my Pookie's name. Um, so, um, uh, he has a very long name, but we just call him Pookie. Um, so, I love my Pookers. He's so fluffy and orange, and his tail is like a squirrel's tail. Well, his brothers did, but his sort of does too, but I still love him more fluffy. Um, so, <clears throat> but... I adore my pookers. I did have a cat for a little while named Doctor. Um, I am an avid Doctor Who fan. I think I mentioned that in episode one. Um, so, but I had to give had to give him away because my parents couldn't keep him over the summer, and neither could I. Um, so I was very sad about that. I miss my I miss Doc, but he's in a good home. So he even had a tag that had. Um, Doc, his name in Gallifreyan, um, which I thought was really cool. Um, I didn't get to get him the collar I wanted to get him, but it made me sad. But yeah, Pookie's up for a new tag and a new collar, so I'm gonna get that for him hopefully soon. Um, but yeah, I'm fixing to go on the air, so I will be right back. Okay. So now I'm going to talk to you guys about a couple friends of mine. Um, I have several that I consider really close. Um, I guess I'll start with the oldest. Um, that would be Jean. Jean and Heather, they're sisters. Jean's the oldest. Um, she's married. Heather's getting married. Heather has two kids. Well, she has one pregnant with the other. Um, I love them both. I love them to death. Um... But Jean and I have a better connection than me and Heather do. Um, it didn't start out that way. Um, Heather, I met Heather first, and we connected, and then I connected with Jean, and so. Um, but I love them both to death. I've known them for probably about a decade now, or more. Um, it'll, I think it'll be 10 years, probably October. 10 or 11 years in October. Um, cause I moved to the trailer park right after my 10th birthday. I'm pretty sure it was my 10th birthday. Um, so, um, yeah. I love them to death. They are amazing people. Um, so, um, let's see. Who else? Um, I guess I'll go current. Um, my roommate. Um, my roommate's pretty cool, so I'm pretty sure we both got to get on each other's nerves occasionally. Um, so, I love her. Um, so, we, we sort of fangirl over things every once in a while. Um, like, Carlos and Alex having a baby, or the new Avengers movie coming out, or Harry Potter, which I just recently got into. Um, which I mentioned that in episode one, which we'll talk about that in a, in a later episode. Um, so, um, so, my roommate, um, Christina, that's not my roommate's name, my roommate's name is Abby. Um, Christina is another friend of ours on campus, um, she's a biology major, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but she's pretty cool too, so she's just really busy. Um, just like just about everybody else on campus. We're all busy, busy peeps. Um, so, um, 
Let's see. DJ, who's Christina's boyfriend, who's also a really good friend of ours. Um, he is amazing. They're both amazing. Um, let's see. Kaylee. Um, she graduated last December. Not this past December, but this December before. Um, I, she allowed me to stay with her over the summer. Um, her and her other roommate. Um, and that was really good for me. I learned a little bit about budgeting with having to pay rent and utilities and all that kind of thing. Um, and then, um, I have a few friends from North Greenville, from North Hills that go here too. Um, my brain's just not working. Allie Ware goes here. Um, Simon, um, Micah, oh, there's a lot. Um, Seth Driscoll, Dawson Martin, um, let's see, um, Bradley Sunt, uh, Bradley Stevens, um, there's a couple others, my brain's just not all here, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, um, but, so, I went to, I graduated with Bradley, Seth, Dawson, um, there's one or two others that come here that I graduated with, um, just can't think of them right off of my head, um, but, um, I really appreciate having those kinds of friends around. Um, Seth is doing some really cool stuff with music. Um, I'm hoping to get an interview with him very shortly. Um, fingers crossed that we both can find a time we both can meet up and do it. Um, cause I'm really looking forward to doing that with him. Um, cause he's the coolest. Um, but, um, so yeah. Um, let's see. Who else can I name drop on here? Um, I'm trying to think. My brain is just not working. So, um, I, let's see. Who else? Um, so I'm trying to save a special group of friends for after my break. Um, who else can I specifically name drop on here? Um, y'all, I can't think. My brain is fried. It's the problem with being a college student, working three jobs, and having a radio hobby, and, um, volunteering on Sundays all day. So, like, yesterday I had 8 o'clock nursery, 10 o'clock children's ministry, and then I had youth group. So, yeah, it's been a busy, 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 busy. Um, so, but, um, yeah. Um, I'm just mumbling because I'm trying to kill time because I'm trying to get this thing to rolling. Um, this one episode is going to be a little bit longer than the other two, um, just because I have a lot more to talk about and I have a little bit more time. Um, so, but, um, let's pull up, I'm trying to think of other people that I get to hang out with. Oh, um, Molly, um, she and Abby have been hanging out a little bit more lately and I've been able to tag along every once in a while when I'm not working my butt off. Um, which has been fun. Um, Abby's sister's on campus. Um, so Abby gets to go hang out with her a lot. I don't get to see her a whole lot. Um, Trey is pretty cool. Don't get to hang out with him much, but he's pretty dope. He does a lot of other, he does a lot of, um, I don't know, I don't remember what they're called. Um, I'll find one of his videos and link it below. Um, cause he does a really cool stuff and I love watching his stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of other people that I can name drop on here. Um, I have a lot of Facebook friends. Let's see, who do I get to see a lot that I can mention on here? Um, 
I can talk about Ashley. Um, Ashley Van Hook. She is somebody that I consider a... She, she used to live with us. So she's like a big sister to me. And I absolutely love her. Um, I got to go see her in Charleston last year for spring break. And I'd never been to Charleston before. She, we went and did all kinds of stuff. I have pictures all over my Instagram and Facebook. And it was a lot of fun. Um, and so... Um, excuse me. We aren't blood related, but she's she is she's she's my sister. Um, I've I'm the oldest of three kids, and so finding people who are older than me that I can call siblings is it means a lot to me. And so Ashley is somebody that I love and adore and look up to, and I love her a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so um. Which, if she winds up watching this video, um, she's got something coming her way as soon as I can get it in a box and mail to her. Which I need to get her address. Um, her new address, because she just moved into a house. Um, but I love her. Um, so, um, so yeah. Um, I'm fixing to go on the air, so I will be right back, guys. Alright, so the friend group that I saved her last, um, they are two of the people that I consider I have let them see parts of me that I rarely let people see and hear about and talk to about and besides like my mom um they have been with me through a lot um they helped me get through middle school and helped me get they helped me through a lot. Um, they are Blake and Gabby Cowden. Um, I love the two of them to death. Gabby is older than Blake. Um, so, um, but I love them both dearly. Um, Blake's the only person that I trust enough to, he's the only person that has ever been able to get me to do crazy things. Like, one lens at one year, he got me on the zip line, which nobody's ever been able to do. Um, the only person that I've ever let do something like that is my dad, and he got me on a water slide at one of the water parks in, here in the area, and never again. Um, but um, when I'm with Blake, I'm not scared. I'm okay. It's Life gets a little better. Um, when I'm with Gabby, she is so much fun to be around. Um, I can't help but smile when I'm around her. Um, she just, they both make everything better for me. They just make me feel better. And when I'm having a rough day, or, um, I love getting Gabby hugs. That's what I call them. Um, so Gabby, Gabby gives really good hugs. Um, and I honestly don't know where I'd be without either of them. Um, they really did help me through a lot. Um, especially after my parents moved and I started college and, um, I started being a leader in the youth group and having a, having Gabby as an example to follow as a leader with the seventh grade girls has been extraordinary. Um, and just being able to have small conversations with Blake, they just, they make my day better. I don't know why, they just do. Um, I don't get to talk to him that often because he is in, he is in the Navy and he, He's gone a lot. Um, so when I do get to talk to him, it makes me really happy when I do. Um, I got to see him this weekend and it, it helped a lot. Um, it helped lift my spirits a little bit because it's, it's been a rough one. Um, and being able to hang out with Gabby and my seventh grade girls and um, got to see one of my other kids, well, two sets of kids this week. Um, it kind of helped a little bit, so I was in a bit of a funk, and 
just being able to see them, hang out with them and everything's been, it was, it was exactly what I needed at the time. Um, and so, um, but, um, so yeah, Blake and Gabby, they are some of the people that I consider really, really close friends of mine. Um, so, but, um, that's all the time that I have for today. Um, so, um, I will, I'll post links and stuff below to the things that I mentioned. Um, <clears throat> but, um, I've got to go. Um, I'm going to go back on the air very shortly to close myself out. Um, but I will talk to you guys on Friday.